This moment right here is why I had to build a robot. And this is the robot. Meet Puffy, an AI-powered water turret whose mission is simple. Defend the kitchen counter. That's for balloons only. The cat gets the deluxe spa mode. Let's see who wins. This is Cookie. He's cute, he's fluffy, and he loves his rattlesnake toy. Whoa, whoa, wait. Rewind, zoom, enhance. I'm pretty sure cats aren't supposed to bend like that. X-ray. Yep, makes sense. In all seriousness though, he's a troublemaker who's obsessed with the kitchen counter. But it can't be that bad, right? I tried the internet solutions like covering the counter with foil. The internet says cats hate this, but it was useless. Cookie clearly doesn't use the internet. Spraying water works as long as someone is standing there. So to find out how bad it really is, I set up a camera. The results? 26 jumps per week. That's almost three jumps per day. It became a battle of wills I was tired of losing. As an engineer, I refuse to be outsmarted by a creature whose primary function is sleeping. It's time to teach him some basic rules. Get the ball. Get the ball, Cookie. After months of redesigns and failed 3D prints, he is finally here. A fully autonomous 3D printed AI powered water robot designed to finally solve the counter war. Puffy is ready to go to war with Cookie. But before we deploy, let me quickly explain the juicy engineering behind this kitchen counter defense system. Puffy works in three steps. Detect, aim, fire. So how does Puffy know what a cat actually is? It uses a camera connected to a Raspberry Pi 4. A Pi is a tiny computer you can program to do magic things like running a lightweight AI object detection model. The model detects objects, draws bounding boxes, and assigns confidence scores. Like this one here, it thinks it's a human, but it gives it a very low confidence score. That gives Puffy the brain of a two-year-old child. To keep him focused, I disabled all the irrelevant objects. Is he dead? Oh, okay. Come on, go back to sleep. <laughs> Once a cat is detected, I calculated the center of the bounding box, add a crosshair to the image, and move the camera so it's always on target. Now, the AI part is cool, but this is what I'm really proud of. One single servo motor does three jobs at the same time. It opens and closes the hatch, it aims the water gun vertically, and it physically pulls the water gun assembly down. Because the whole system is so compact, the recipe pie only fits if everything retracts perfectly. Cookie can be anywhere along this counter, which requires at least 70 degrees of rotation. That's handled by a servo motor connected to the base using one-to-one -one gears. <laughs> the wargan itself is salvaged from a toy, but it needs a beefy servo to pull the trigger fast enough to actually spray at a distance. The lower body contains a water tank with a refill port and a water level window. And yes, I also built a web control panel with full remote control. Never trust AI. Cookie doesn't even think Puffy is a worthy opponent, but that's about to change. And now it all comes down to this. Final tricks, tank full. Quick pause, if you want to build your own Puffy, I'm putting all the files in the link below. But I'm also thinking about releasing Puffy as a real product. Would you rather have a DIY kit to build with your kids or a fully assembled version that just works? Let me know in the comments. And if you want first access, there is a wait list below. All right, back to the action. And it didn't take long. Cookie has a routine. Every morning he finishes breakfast and then, like clockwork, he shakes the counter. What's about to happen next was unexpected. I knew it immediately. During testing, I run the tank dry and it sucked in air. Time for reverse CPR. And so this never happens again. I added a simple water sensor. Okay, back in action. I had to use a little incentive to get Cookie to jump in my favorite cup. This time, Puffy has to perform under live audience, which puts more pressure on him. <laughs> and at this point, it almost became a different problem. We are thrilled because technically it worked, but there were three problems. One, water pressure wasn't strong enough, Two, Puffy was a little too chill, and three, Cookie's fur is thick. So I switch Puffy from chill mode to Dilophosaurus mode. <laughs> Faster reaction and more pressure. But what we are about to see is mind-boggling. 
In hindsight, I really underestimated Cookie's stubbornness. He's way tougher than he looks. He would take hit after hit just to prove a point. But over time, something changed. Fewer and fewer shots got him down. Eventually, just the sound was enough. At one point, Cookie tried a new strategy. I think he thought Puffy wouldn't notice. So, was it worth it? Let's look at the numbers. Before Puffy, Cookie averaged 26 counter jumps per week. With Puffy active, that number dropped to 2. That's a 92% reduction. I will take that W. Just to be clear, Cookie is fine, everyone loves him, and he loves everyone. Almost everyone. And as a bonus, Puffy unlocked a side quest. Protecting my ice cream. Just a reminder, the Puffy waitlist is linked below. DIY kit or fully built, let me know.